Leave it 5 one turn right heading 183. Today's focus surrounds the troubled Boeing 737 MAX, which is set to finally see test flights begin by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, or more simply the EASA. These tests, though, will not be taking place in Europe, rather in Vancouver, Canada, and on behalf of the EASA, who since early 2019 said that they wanted to conduct their own thorough tests on the aircraft type to help determine whether or not it truly is safe for passengers to fly on in the coming months and years. The first test flight will be on September 7th, and they'll continue testing throughout that week and well into the future. Very similar to what we've been seeing the FAA do with the aircraft for the past two months. The EASA said, working steadily in close cooperation with the FAA and Boeing to return the Boeing 737 MAX aircraft to service as soon as possible, but only once it is convinced it is safe. The global pandemic has made organising such flights rather tricky, as you can imagine, to schedule, especially as these will be taking place over in Canada rather than, say, Europe. Once they begin these test flights, though, they'll give the EASA a better idea at the changes Boeing made and obviously how they therefore then impact the aircraft. The current goal, of course, is to get the 737 MAX back in the skies as soon as possible. However, for the FAA, who have already been working on certifying the jet, as mentioned earlier, for the past two months, it will likely mean the jet will be certified to fly with passengers in North America before Europe. That is if the global pandemic allows the aircraft to actually transport passengers. There's always the chance that it is simply not required for some time after being approved because of demand. That is something that remains to be seen. The EASA further added when commenting on, on Boeing's progress, while Boeing still has some final actions to close off, EASA judges the overall maturity of the redesign process is now sufficient to proceed to test flights. These are a prerequisite of the European agency to approve the aircraft's new design. Ideally, though, the EASA would like to be conducting simulator tests as well in the future with the adjusted 737 MAX for pilots in Europe who cannot, say, get out to Canada to be there for the test flights, which at this point, it's worth mentioning, are full already of skilled and qualified pilots and technicians that fully understand the changes that have been made. A regular airline pilot, you'd be running the risk of them not completely understanding, and that is why they have these simulator tests. Thank you very much for the continued support on all the videos across the channel. If you have any thoughts on the situation currently unfolding, with the EASA looking set to start testing with the 737 MAX over in Canada, do not hesitate to let me know. As always, thanks, and I will see you all next time.